Get Happy Outdoors. Not sure if you guys can tell exactly where I'm at. I hope not because I've already invited way too many people in here by uh, making these videos. <laughs> so it's March 21st, 2020. And we are shed hunting, looking for elk. And finally getting into some elk country. Check this guy out. Look at that rub. That's fresh as can be right there. Look at this. Broken twigs that are still all totally green. I mean, this was probably this morning he did that. That's just all wet bark. Look at that. He's actually not a big fella. He looks like... Uh, He's just a fiver, I think. I'm looking for uh, a really big, big bull that I found last year. I got the matching set to. Each antler was 11 and a half pounds. And this is his area right here. Unfortunately, I've cut a couple of boot tracks already. So, you can see those tracks going down right there. And these boot tracks are exactly in the area that uh, he likes to hang out in. So if he has shed already, March 21st, then uh, it's very likely he, this other person probably picked him up already. But we're going to keep on going. See what we can find. He's not the only big bull in here. There's a, there's a few of them. Hey, what's happening YouTube? This is Happy with Get Happy Outdoors. How you guys doing? I hope you guys all had a great winter out there. Today is officially March 22nd, uh, 2020. Yeah, and uh, well, we're out here shed hunting. We're actually, we're not shed hunting necessarily, but we're looking for the bulls and stuff. Uh, last year, if you recall, if you look on my uh, 2019 videos, You'll see that uh, I was out here scouting and uh, watching the bulls all the way up and through it was about April 1st when the first ones were really starting to drop uh, as far as elk go. Uh, there was a couple of random drops here and there uh, during March, uh, but those are all just randoms. Uh, the actual shed didn't really start until around April 6th, April 10th. Uh, that's about when the, the real shedding started in it. Went for about two weeks, and then pretty much the majority of the bulls, big and raghorns, are all shed by then. So about, <clears throat> yeah, about uh, I think mid-April, a little bit after April 15th, uh, they're mostly shed. So anyways, you can look at my previous videos to find out the information that I gathered last year uh, as far as the uh, elevations that I was finding the sheds at, that I was finding the bulls at. Uh, the temperatures, um, the terrain, which side of the, which slopes I was finding them on, whether it rather be uh, south facing, north facing, west facing, east facing, whatever. Uh, I gave you guys all that information last year to help you guys find your own areas. Um, you know, so that could help you, you know, find your own areas where, you know, on the maps or whatever. But unfortunately, <laughs> uh, my videos were a little bit too inclusive on you know my surroundings and there's a lot of landmarks that uh, a lot of people picked up on and uh, so I've got a lot more shed hunters in my area now and uh, unfortunately shed fever a lot of us shed hunters caught shed fever early uh, so when we saw those first few uh, YouTube postings of uh, brownies being found down in Arizona and New Mexico uh, those of us who were over here in Utah started thinking oh well they're shedding i gotta get out in the woods right now now the fact is i've been i've spent years down in arizona i've spent years down in new mexico as well 
uh, all shed hunting and everything. And I know that those bulls that are down in those southern regions shed their antlers roughly three weeks to four weeks earlier than these bulls in the central region of the United States, uh, Utah, Colorado, and these places. And then going in Montana even later. I mean, usually it won't be till the end of April up in Montana. So just so you know, I mean, I know everybody's got shed fever. You know, everybody wants to get out there and find some. And everybody's watching these, uh, you know, videos about uh, brownies being found down in Arizona and New Mexico. That's down in there, all right? There's, there's hardly any brownies being dropped there in Utah yet. It's, like I said, March 22nd. They're still not really dropping yet. You're going to find a few randoms every, every now and again, which, you know, this is part of what I do when I come out here and I'm looking for the elk themselves. I usually luck upon a couple of browns here and there, but like I said, they're just randoms. So you could put lots and lots of miles of hiking in trying to find a brownie uh, before uh, April 1st, and all you're going to find is those randoms. You're not going to get a backpack full of antlers. All right, you're only going to come out of the woods with one, maybe two, max. <laughs> if you come out with three, be extre extremely happy. So anyways, uh, I just want to show you guys a little bit of what I've just did. I just hiked up this, uh, actually rock climb up this little cliff right here. I climbed up this entire mountain. Um, during that whole hike, uh, I hiked through some area uh, looking for <clears throat> sign. Didn't see any sign whatsoever. This is all area that I went to last year that I was videoing at last year. And I was actually videoing the, the bulls and everything too. Unfortunately, what's happened is all that area down there that's more easily accessible to everybody. Um, the people who were able to identify my area from my videos are all over down there. There's boot tracks everywhere, all of that lower country. Every bit of it, there's boot tracks everywhere. Everybody's getting out too early and they're spooking all the elk. They're pushing them all way up into the high, high country. Um, this year, the snow's not too bad. It's only knee deep up in this high country. So the elk are perfectly fit for this. I mean, they don't mind being up here. But uh, so yeah, there's no more elk down in that low stuff where I was videoing last year, guys. Uh, <laughs> so if you guys, if any of you who are viewing this uh, are some of those people who used my video footage to find my area, uh, well, all I can say is thanks because you pushed all the elk out of there and up into the high country where I'm willing to go, but you're not. <laughs> so yeah, keep on tramping around down there. I don't mind. The elk aren't there anymore and they're not going to be either. So keep going. <laughs> So anyways, guys, finally just got to the very, very top of this ridge, this mountain here. I'm just about to peek over to the other side after climbing up that rock face. Literally, I had to use my hands for a lot of that climbing. Uh, it was straight up and over gaps and stuff like that. So we just got to the top, and I walked. You can see my tracks right here. Look at this. Not even 10 yards. That's like 20 feet. Walked 20 feet and stopped right here. I was like, what's that over there? Boom. <laughs> Told you guys, they're in the high country right now. That looks like a, a medium-sized bull. He was a, he was a six. It looks like he broke off the six point. Um, and he's just one of the random shed bulls that are up here. I mean, obviously, you can see this jungle territory that I'm in right now. Uh, he knocked his antler off early. Uh, he wasn't really uh, ready to drop it naturally. Uh, so he actually knocked it off by being in here. So I doubt that the other one's anywhere close by, unless he knocked it off as well, but odds are slim. So that's definitely a brownie, guys. It looks like it's definitely a brownie. Anyways, I haven't even walked up to it yet. Let's do that. <laughs> so yeah, high, 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 high country. Uh, I'm going to give you guys the tips right now. Please, please, if you recognize landmarks and stuff from my videos, don't come invade my areas, please. Uh, I give you a lot of information, a lot of useful information on how to find your own areas. That's like most of the reason that I put these videos out is to help you find your own areas. Because I mean, if you're just gonna be cheating by, by you know, finding the places that I'm at, 
that's cheating. <laughs> you know, that's like, uh, like the golfer who cheats on his scorecard. Who's he cheating? He's cheating himself. That's the only person you're cheating. How much pride do you have when you are stealing an area from somebody else or invading someone else's area uh, that you were able to, you know, I, I commend you for all the research that you must have done on the maps and everything like that to find my spots. <laughs> That's commendable. But your ethics, you're lacking. Very much so. <laughs> so you obviously have very poor morals. Um, so just, you know, keep that in mind. And I'm not saying that you're a bad person. I'm just saying that you have poor ethics and uh, you, you might want to work on that. So hopefully you guys do take me to heart. Um, everything I do, uh, shed hunting wise, um, it's a challenge for myself. All right. It's, I'm not trying to find easy antlers or stuff like that. I mean, it's great when you do find an easy one here and there. That's cool. But no, my whole goal is to challenge myself mind and body all right and what i mean by that is by mind by challenging my mind i want to observe these animals from a distance uh discover where they are try to pattern them and think the way the elk thinks try to predict how he's thinking and where he's going to go uh those kinds of things so that's challenging to my mind and obviously challenging to the body is all the climbing and hiking that I do, you know, 20 miles a day. Uh, so it's a personal challenge for me to find antlers. Um, I have accidentally uh, gone into areas, found areas that uh, are in other YouTubers' videos. And I don't like that. I get out of there right away because I know that that's their area. They worked really hard to find that area, you know, and now they're... You know, they don't need me invading their area. So I go find another area that might be 20, 30 miles away. Still close, but far enough away that I'm not invading their specific spots. Uh, that's just my mentality. That's Those are my ethics. Um, and I try to share that with everybody. I'm not sure I've done a good enough job uh, with really expressing myself uh, on my morals and my ethics. So I'm going to do a little bit more of that this time. <laughs> So I know you guys are getting impatient. Let's go take a look at this antler. Let's see what we got here. Brought to you by Get Happy Productions. Shed hunt responsibly.